my cooking was so bad to a point that I remember I cooked this one time and the food was really really terrible the dog didn't even eat hi guys and welcome to precious diaries so on today's video i'm doing something a little bit different i've never done this kind of video so today i decided to do a get to know me tag i feel like it's time that you guys get to know me a little bit better because i i feel like i don't share much about myself i just share what i usually get up to and you guys don't even know anything about the person that you invest in your time in watching so today i just wanted to get a little bit more um deep and intimate with you guys so i wrote down a few questions because i was very shy to um ask you guys to share any questions that you may have because i'm not very comfortable with talking about myself um especially on social media i don't know why because i talk a lot but then i feel like around other people i tend to be a bit shy so i have 10 questions and if you're new to my channel or like this is your second time watching um, my videos i hope that this video will convince you to stay on this channel so on this video we're doing the whole making edition because i don't want to mention anything crochet related so for that one i might actually i am gonna do a separate one so today we're gonna focus on the whole making side of things so let's just call this the homemaking edition so the first question is what is my name actually what's my full name so my full name is precious rongina chaoke so that's my full name and i'm actually tonga so hence yeah if anyone has any questions about which language do i speak but i don't speak tonga most of the time we don't speak tonga at home but then i'm actually tonga and then the second question is that how old am i i'm actually 24 and i'll be turning 25 for this year in december i feel like this is going a little bit too fast in some way like i don't know maybe i expected it to be a bit i don't know but then let's get into the third questions so the third question is that how did i get into homemaking so basically i feel like i've always been a homemaker at heart without knowing because when i started my youtube channel it was all about crocheting i just wanted to do crochet vlogs and sit down vlogs and then after a while i decided to start vlogging and then i realized that i do enjoy vlogging and seeing the kind of content that i was putting out there that most of the time i'm cooking i'm cleaning and i do love doing the domesticated stuff but then i continued with just putting out that content without being aware or without actually putting a name to it or without actually realizing that i do love homemaking until one day i was watching uh homemaking videos from uh Ke from a couple of kenyan youtubers and i realized that this is the kind of content that i like this is who i am these are the things that i like doing these are things that i like getting up to because i love watching grocery hauls home homemaking videos like i'm just anything and everything homemaking is just more me so that's when i made the decision that okay precious you're gonna focus on homemaking not just only for the sake of content but then i just want to do it as just as something that i do on a regular basis do i make sense i feel like i don't make sense let me try again so i decided to put a name to it so that i can get better at something that i am actually passionate about so i spend time in learning new ways of doing things i know the direction of 
my homemaking i know how i want my home to look like what kind of goals and dreams do i have for the space that i live in i love being at home i'm a homebody so the way my home looks like it reflects my mental state so i focus on making sure that my home actually looks good so i guess homemaking is just something that i'm i'm very passionate about and somewhere I feel like I'm messing this up because it's been a while since I've, I've done a sit down video. It's really been a while and I feel like I'm all over the place. But then I hope it'll make sense. I hope it'll make sense. Or if it doesn't make sense, I hope I'll be able to edit it in a way that will make sense. So anyway, let's get into question number... Okay, I have my questions written down here. So, okay, we are on... We are on number five. So the next question is what are my hobbies the most obvious one is crocheting i love crocheting more than anything but if i'm being honest crocheting is just more than a hobby for me but then in some way it still kind of forms part of my hobbies and another thing that i enjoy is i love creating graphics like i'm obsessed with creating youtube intros invitations those kind of things i love creating graphics and also currently i started knitting so that's a new hobby for me and also another thing uh my boyfriend and i we got into gardening which is i feel like at this point it's just more him than me i'm good at doing the research i'm good at doing the research and just putting in my effort here and there i just put in my two cent but honestly i do enjoy gardening i love gardening in some way even though i don't spend too much time on it another thing i love reading i enjoy reading and also i like diy projects i enjoy doing diy projects so those are my hobbies and i feel like you guys are gonna see more of that side on this on this channel because i have a lot of diy projects lined up for spring and summer so stay tuned for that question number six am i a morning person or am i a night owl so i'm actually a morning person i have more energy in the morning i'm more motivated to get things done in the morning than at night at night i'm just i'm just lazy i can't get anything done at night but then if i get up early in the morning i know that i can get things done i can get things done so the moment it just it's like three o'clock or four o'clock i'm just out i just don't want to do anything so maybe that's why i cook around four because i know that cooking won't take that much of time it just takes an hour and then i'm done but i don't like doing things at night i just don't have energy at night i feel like the night time it's a good time for me to relax and just i don't know just be my thoughts just just relax in bed just do nothing spend time on social media watch my favorite series yeah those are the kind of things that i like doing and speaking of series i enjoy watching crime shows i love crime shows like i i binge watch them daily like i can spend the whole day watching the same series i love crime shows so at the moment i'm currently watching fbi international love that series like it's it's one of the best like i feel like everything about that series is 10 out of 10 like the stunts that they do on that show like you get the action like i feel like the action is is intense like more than other crime shows that i'm used to watching so i love fbi international i'm enjoying actually i'm enjoying watching it but my all-time favorite crime show is ncis la i love ncis yes and then i also watched ncis hawaii that one was nice too i enjoyed watching that so i hopefully they're gonna have the next season but i think it's cancelled yeah i think the next the one that's gonna have the next season coming is uh ncis sydney yeah that one was nice too i did enjoy that question number seven which chore is my least favorite so i don't enjoy doing dishes i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't enjoy doing dishes and i'm sure you guys have seen from my vlogs that i hardly ever do the dishes 
so that is just that i just don't enjoy doing dishes but i'm fortunate enough to have a boyfriend who does the dishes most of the time so i'll just do the cooking and he'll do the dishes as much as i don't like doing dishes i make sure that i don't use too many unnecessary dishes question number eight is which chore is my favorite to do and i feel like i i don't know does does making the bed count as a chore i enjoy making the bed more than anything like i feel like i can take 20 minutes to 30 minutes just making the bed i can remove everything and just start over from scratch i enjoy making the bed and do i enjoy mopping i do enjoy mopping i enjoy mopping to just cleaning the floors i enjoy that a lot and i usually take time with that too like i can mop the same room for over like 20 minutes i take my time with mopping that's another chore that i enjoy question number nine do i prefer cooking or baking i prefer cooking over baking because i'm more comfortable with cooking i know how to cook more than just baking i don't know not that i don't know i'm still learning how to bake and my skills are just not there yet they're just not there yet so i prefer cooking even more because i feel like cooking for me is way more flexible i can make something however i want to make it make it i can be as creative as possible because it's something that i'm more comfortable with and let me give you guys a short story about my background with cooking so growing up i didn't know how to cook my cooking was so bad to a point that i remember i cooked this one time and the food was really really terrible the dog didn't even eat that is how bad my cooking skills were so when i moved out of the house at 18 and i had to learn how to cook i had to learn how to cook that's where i learned how to cook because i left my mother's house i didn't even know anything about buying groceries i had to figure it out on my own but luckily enough i did i did quite well my cooking skills improved a lot i think living alone helped me learn how to cook because whatever ingredients that i used like i bought them by myself like it's not like i'm using someone else's ingredients so i know that if i see something on on uh social media i can try it out so for number 10 i didn't i didn't write down a question necessarily but then it's just anything that i can share about myself and i think a couple of things that i can share also about myself is the fact that um i'm an overthinker like i overthink things a lot like um i overthink and me and anxiety we like this so yeah and i'm very passionate about mental health i'm very passionate about mental health and before my channel i used to do videos on mental health and i don't do them anymore yeah but i'm still passionate about mental health and i feel like my journey with anxiety it's it's getting better like i have severe anxiety but then um i didn't want to get on medication or anything so i just decided to figure out a way that i can cope on my own but mentally this year i've been through a lot like mentally this year it's been really 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 challenging like i've i've been out of my comfort zone i experienced a lot of things for the first time and i just didn't know how to handle them but then i'm getting there i'm getting there and also i think another thing that i can share as like on my vlogs you guys see my boyfriend a lot is we've we met when we were uh in yeah we met in 2019 so the same day that we met is the same day that we started dating literally we didn't even know each other so i don't know what to say about my relationship i i honestly don't know i don't know but all i can say is that we live together like I don't know what else i can i can say because also i'm very i don't know i don't i might not post much about my relationship but then you guys can see that he's there 
like he appears on my vlogs he helps me when i have to get things done but then to like really 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 talk about it that's really hard for me it's really hard for me because also like i don't i don't i don't have can i say i have friends i don't think i have friends do i have friends okay i do kind of have friends but then like most of the time i'm alone like i'm if i'm not with my boyfriend i'm, I'm just chilling alone but then i do have people that i'm close to that i can speak to yeah and vent to but then i'm just not i'm not very big on friendships i feel like i've been through a lot when it comes to friendships so maybe that's why it's so i think it would be hard for me to make new friends right now not that i don't want to make new friends but then i feel like it, it would it would take a while for me to trust someone yeah like i just want to get to know you first before i make any commitments but then other than that i'm a nice person like in general i'm just uh, I'm, I'm a chill person but then i know that to some people i might i might be the villain but yeah but honestly if i'm wrong like and you tell me that no you did one two and three i'll apologize like i i'm very big on taking accountability for my own actions i hope you guys know a little bit more about me and you guys feel some sort of connection with me because i feel like i haven't been connecting with you guys i don't i don't know how to yeah but i'm trying my best to to make this channel a community like a safe space for everyone because i'm big on mental health so yeah and if you have any questions you can comment down below i'll make sure that i respond and if there's anything else that um you guys feel like i missed or i should do a part two i can actually do that and thank you so much for watching this video please do ensure that you like comment and share this video and so we meet again on the next vlog bye mm -hmm.